And in its new age for pregnancy, more and more women are choosing to wait to have children. And News 3 Investigation is digging deeper into what it means for women and society as a whole. Investigative reporter Margaret Cavanaugh joins us with a woman who got pregnant at the age of 54. This is something I've wanted for so long. Trying for seven years to get pregnant. So many ups and downs, so many failures. Nobody and no one Nothing prepares you for the heartaches that go along with it. But that heartache turned into joy when Kathy got pregnant at 54. You can't let fear control you. If, if it is in your heart, just do it. Because you don't want to ever regret not having a child if that's what you wanted all along. She, like many others, got pregnant later in life. She wanted to wait until she was married and found her partner in her late 40s. The pair tried to conceive on their own. We hit a brick wall, so we decided it was time to do IVF. She came to Dr. Robin Poe Ziegler, the medical director and owner of the New Hope Center Reproductive Health and Fertility Clinic in Virginia Beach. I am seeing a lot more women that are in this, you know, late 30s, to mid 40s group, but I'm also seeing more women that are in the mid 40s to the early 50s group that are trying to get pregnant. CDC data from 2020 shows wide ranging declines in childbearing in the US, but birth rates for women between 40 and 44 have risen almost continuously from 1985 to 2019 by an average of 3%. Why do we care about birth rates? Well, coming up, we'll explain how it impacts the population and policies. Plus, learn more about why women are waiting longer to have kids. We'll have that part of the story coming up tonight at 6 p.m. Margaret Cavanaugh, News 3.